Hi guys, it's Miss Jillian and Obi Doby. Um, and today we're gonna be reading you a book. I'll let him go play. He needs to do his homework too. Today we're gonna be reading a book and it's called Trouble with Trolls. Have any of you guys read that book before? If not, we're gonna do it today. So let's start with the first page. Hi. My name is Treva, and I have had some trouble with trolls. It all happened one day early in the spring when I decided to visit my cousin, who lives on the other side of Mount Baldy. It takes all morning to climb up that mountain, but then I just fly down the other side on my skis. Have any of you guys ever been skiing? My dog Truffy and I walked up the path until we reached the place where the last of the old trees stood. That's where we began our trouble with trolls. As we walked through the trees, something scuttled by. Truffy ran after it, and I heard a yelp. And there was Truffy, caught right tight in the arms of a troll. I was certain that that's, that's what he was. With his long hair and furry tail and big ears and one gold earring, the troll squeaked and growled, I want my dog! He wangled his ears back and forth and back and forth. And then I had an idea. Maybe I could trick the greedy troll. Go ahead, take my dog. I've got my beautiful mittens. And I reached up with my warm, I reached up and warmed my ears as I couldn't do without my mittens. The troll's eyes darkened back and forth from tough Truffy to my mittens, but it was too much. He had to ha have them. He dropped Treffy and grabbed my mittens and ran off. Would you trade your mittens for your animal, dog, cat, fish? I think I would because I love my animals, just like I had Obi. I was so pleasured about tricking the trolls that I didn't even notice that Treffy was missing again until I came face to face with the second troll. This one was rocking with glee, his long nose buried in Truffy's warm fur. I got dog, he boasted. I shrugged. Oh, you can have my dog. I just don't want you to take my favorite pom-pom hat. Do you guys have a hat that has a pom-pom on the top of it? I know I do. And I think it's super warm. The troll's eyes lit up. He snatched the hat and scurried far, far away as fast as he could go. <sighs> what a morning. I had lived on Mount Baldy all my life, and I never had heard of anyone ever seeing trolls. It was time to take steps. Truffy, I ordered, from now on, you follow me. What I did not know was that the third troll was sneaking up behind us. I heard a noise. Uh-oh. This troll grabbed Tuffy by the tail and pointed at the big iron pot. Pull, pull, she cried. I s slipped off my sweater when I wasn't looking. Phew, I said. That leaves my special puller. I pulled a rock down the neck of my sweater and pulled it by the arms to show how it worked. The trolls dim. But this one was smart enough to see that my sweater was just a thing to drag her pot. 
she scrambled away with it. And Truffy and I listened to the bonk, 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 bonk of the pot bouncing down the mountain. Now we can see that the top of Mount Baldy and, and what a relief. Well, we didn't know that, they're, that they were walking towards us, Drub, double trouble. So let's see what happens here. As Tuffy and I squeezed between the two boulders, twin trolls jumped out, ha ha. They bellowed together and pounced on Tuffy. Uh oh, they got the dog again. Let's see what happens, friends. This time I was ready. I saw their pointy heads and knew just what to do. Off came my boots. I dangled them in the air. Imagine wanting a dog, but ignoring these. Instantly, the twin trolls dropped Truffy and leaped for my boots. As they disappeared into the distance, I looked down at Truffy. At the top of the mountain was close. I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to carry you the rest of the way. Each step was harder and harder. As I held Truffy tightly and kept going. When we reached the top, all five trolls were waiting. Uh-oh. We want dog, they bellowed and ran towards us. I scruffled. They got Tuffy away from me. Again, I closed my eyes to keep back the tears. They knew what to do. I reached out and unbuckled my skis and held them in the sun so they would sparkle on the shine on their shiny paint. I shook them so the trolls could hear the tiny bells. I waved them through the air, making a swoosh, swoosh sound. Finally, I whispered, as if it was a secret, I can fly with these. Fly, the trolls roared. How fly? I picked up the ski poles and blew on my hands to warm them. I needed my mittens. To sh I'll need my mittens to show you. The trolls with the big ears threw my mittens over. I can't fly unless I can see, I said redundantly. I'll need my hat so I can keep the wind from blowing my hair in my eyes. Look, I said shivering in the wind. Flying is easy, but I can't do it without my sweater. And finally, the other trolls started, stared at the troll with my sweater. She hesitated, but handed it over. I put it on and positioned my skis in the snow. But even the trolls could see that my feet couldn't fit into the bindings. I really need those boots, I said reassuringly to the twins. And now I had everything back. My mittens, my hat, my sweater, my boots. I stood at the top of the Mount Baldy, ready to go. I held a piece of yarn high in the air to test the wind for flying. It was too much for those greedy trolls. Fly, 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 they chanted. I need you to push me. Can't push, they cried. Hold dog. Okay. I held the dog. The trolls gave me one giant push. Fly, fly, fly. They shouted at me. As we flew down the mountain, I could hear the trolls cry. Crying and wailing, dog, dog, dog. And as I looked back, I could see the pile of trolls shoving and pushing each other furiously in the snow. Arms flying, heads bumping. They were fighting over the dog. Tuffy and I made it safely down the mountain and the trolls had never been seen again. But if you travel over the top of the Mount Baldy in the early, in the early spring, you can see 
white cotton glass waving wildly in the wind. It's all that's left from that day that I had trouble with the trolls. Now we're gonna go look at an activity and I'll meet you back for the activity.